choosing material things over Hi everyone, Petalus Bless here. I'm coming on today to share with you guys another DIY that I have in mind to do. It's going to be a, a two-part. Um, I'm doing a wedding centerpiece and I'll be starting with doing the two candlelight, the two candle holders, sorry. <laughs> that will be the first video and then the, the next video I have coming out will be the flower arrangement to go with them. Yeah, so it's going to be two videos for this arrangement. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe <laughs> to Petal is Blessed channel. And when you're going to press that subscribe button, make sure it says Petal is Blessed beside the subscribe button. Because there's somebody here on YouTube that has been taking my videos, which is not nice. I know you can put videos in playlists and stuff. Nothing is wrong with that. But this person is taking my videos and changing the labels and having them on her channel. Like they're her videos. So if you want to see more of my DIYs that I put out for you guys to learn and get good ideas from, make sure it says Petal is Blessed beside the subscribe button. Yeah, and then you'll get more of my videos to see. All right, everyone, thanks, and you know what? Let's get started. All right, everyone, we need these jars, these candle holders from the Dollar Tree, these can tea light holders also from the Dollar Tree. Our gems are from Dollarama. Our E6000 glue and our glue gun. And now we start by placing our gems all the way around our glass vase. And we're placing them one circle with the large gems and then the next circle is with the small gems and so on large small all the way around to the bottom. Alright everyone, I did the same thing with the tea light holders. I used the small gems only and placed them all the way around. Now we have our, all our pieces together. What we're going to do now is take the E6000 and we're going to glue them together. The silver tea lights to there and then the tea light there at the bottom. Just like that, we're going to glue them together and have them set overnight because with the E6000, they need to set overnight to dry. So that's what I'm going to do and then we'll come back and you'll see this finished results. And here we go everyone, our finished look. Our lovely blinked out <laughs> candle holders. I think they look very cute. The silver tea light in the middle just gives this an added touch of glam. Make it shiny and nice, which I think is very nice. And here's how they look with two candles added to them. Just wanted to show you how it looks. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming on to Petal is Blessed channel and seeing the DIY that I have today. Remember to subscribe to Petal is Blessed. And remember, as always, stay blessed. All right, everyone. Bye-bye. Just for your attention, I work hard for it. Yeah, you call me up right now, girl, I'm recovering. And I realize that.